To find out how far a point on this wheel will travel, the first thing we want to do is figure out what angle it moves through. So because we have uniform angular acceleration, and we're given the initial and final angular speeds, let's first put them together, take an average, and find the average angular speed. So the average angular speed, represented by the Greek letter omega, with a bar above it, is going to be equal to the final angular speed, plus the initial, divided by 2. So that is 240 revolutions per minute, plus 360 revolutions per minute, divided by 2. Which, if you put into a calculator, gives us 300 revolutions per minute. So this is the average angular speed, and to find the angle that the, that the wheel travels through, theta, we take that angular, we take that average angular speed and multiply it by the amount of time that it takes to rotate. So that is 300 revolutions per minute multiplied by 6.8 seconds. And we're going to have to convert that into minutes in order to keep our units consistent. So we multiply by 6.8 seconds and then do a unit conversion on that. So there are 60 seconds in one minute. So one minute for 60 seconds, so that the second units cancel out, and now the minutes are consistent with each other. And this gives us an angle of 34 revolutions. Now to actually answer the question, the question's asking for how far a point on the edge of the wheel will travel. So if we move 34 revolutions, how far will a point travel? And we can find this by recognizing that each revolution of the wheel corresponds to the point traveling the distance of one circumference. So to find this length, we simply take the angular distance we just found, 34 revolutions per minute, or 34 revolutions, and multiply that by the circumference of the wheel. Because each circumference will correspond to one revolution. And the formula for circumference is either 2 pi multiplied by the radius, or just pi multiplied by the diameter. We're given the diameter, so that's what we'll use. So it's pi multiplied by the diameter of 0 0.31 meters. If you put that into a calculator, this gives us 33 meters. So that is how far the point travels. That is it for this problem. I hope this video helped you out, and if it did, please consider subscribing, as that will help me out in making more videos just like this. That's all for now, and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye-bye.